Hello, and welcome to the Dumb It Down podcast, where I ask my network about their key personal decisions to reflect on what really matters in school and work. Today, I am interviewing myself alone in my apartment, which isn't really much of an interview, but wanted to set the stage for the rest of the podcast to come by offering a little bit more about myself. So I will start with being back in high school. I'm actually from Charlotte, North Carolina, through the Hornets shirt on as they're having a nice start to the season. Uh, Grew up here, went to school at Myers Park High School and um, figured out pretty early on that I wanted to go into some sort of college program that had to do with math and science was always a strength of mine. So looked into engineering pretty early. Actually, now that I think about it, both my parents pushed me into an engineering internship, which I kind of didn't want to go to any week, but ended up being kind of cool. Um, So with that, I figured it was it was a good enough direction to go in. I knew I wanted a four year degree and I knew that I was looked at the average salaries when you get out of school. So there you have it. So once I decided on engineering, um, I've always kind of put off decision making as long as possible. Uh, So my second choice was or second decision major decision in college to make was for my major. So I ended up doing mechanical engineering as I figured that was the most broad and uh, turns out to be true. So moving forward a little bit more, coming out of school, I'll step up or I'll step back real quick. So when I was a sophomore, I was looking into summer internships and kind of felt that I didn't quite meet the criteria to get those very coveted positions. So I ended up taking a co-op, which was still in Raleigh, with a small engineering firm, no, not that small, but a private engineering firm out of the Research Triangle. So that gave me a lot of good experience that summer, kind of got me a leg in the door for two more rounds of internships and ended up extending my four-year program into a five-year program, which was a ton of fun. Highly recommend. So not only did I come out with some work experience, I actually tacked on another internship after that and uh, entered the entered my super senior year kind of ready to um, go in a little bit different direction than either of my internships. I wanted to get out of North Carolina, try some new things and uh, successfully did that. I, inter- I I got my job through the career fair. It was with Schneider Electric, ended up there for four years. Uh, but I started in the sales rotation or not rotational sales development program, which was a four month program of training for sales and on the product, which were circuit breakers and other kind of commercial circuit breakers. And then spent about a year in an inside sales program, which is where you basically cold call to different potential customers, existing customers of the Schneider Electric in order to see if they want to buy more from you. So I actually identified sales as a direction I wanted to go in while I was a super senior. Uh, Turns out my dad had been in sales, which will shock no one that, that knows this, but I didn't really piece it together at the time. And by the time I did it, it all kind of fell into place with that program. So Uh, I've always liked working with people. Um, I like engineering. I like programming here and there, but it's not not a passion of mine. I'd rather get out and talk to people like I'm doing right now, except to myself, but hopefully to you all listening at home. So that being said, just putting all those factors together, not only did sales make sense, but technical sales made sense because you're coming from an engineering background. You need to have some technical knowledge in order to apply it to the sales position. So for example, in that inside sales program, we had to learn about the product and know enough to be able to understand and explain some things about it to the people on the other end of the phone. Fast forward a couple years, I moved up to Chicago, uh, still with Schneider, still in sales, but a different type of product. And fast forward another year or two, and I switched to my current job. I work for a company called Intelligent Buildings, We are a smart building consultancy who 
has to know a lot about technology, has to be able to communicate with people, has to kind of speak about networking and IT and programming and cybersecurity. So there's a lot of things that come together. And I really like learning about all of them and being able to communicate that back and forth between people still in a sales role. And um, so far, so good. I'll pause right there. A couple of the questions, I'm not going to dwell on these too long since I'm talking to myself. Why did you determine you wanted to be an engineer? I touched on that a bit, um, math and science oriented. There's kind of a saying that if you built Legos growing up, you were bound to be an engineer. I don't totally buy that, but um, I guess I liked playing with technology and, and uh, toys like Legos. So. Uh, really that came down to the salary and the fact that I didn't need a graduate degree after number two, if I could do it over, would I have stayed with the same major? Uh, I would have chosen industrial engineering. I talked with Vlad DeRoche about this as well. Uh, I liked a smaller program and a little bit more modern program at NC state. So that's what I have to compare it to. And I liked that it intersected a little bit more with business as opposed to a lot of the theoretical engineering concepts that are taught in um, mechanical, at least at NC State. That's all I can speak to. <clears throat> Would I be in the same position without my degree? So the intro sales program I did required-ish an engineering degree. So there were a couple people that kind of got in without it. Um, and my personal opinion is that it shouldn't be required. I think that a lot of other factors matter a lot more. Um, the ability to learn, the desire to learn, how hard you're going to work, some, some of the soft skills, talking to people is very important in sales, matter more than if you got to be in fluid mechanics. That is my opinion. Um, I have not done much in terms of further education, no master's degree, no real inclination to do one except perhaps a master's in business, but have not quite gotten there yet. A couple certifications here and there, uh, part of some courses around smart buildings, did an IT cybersecurity or IT basics type of course. Um, really more I get involved with trade organizations, for example, CoreNet and meet people, network, and talk and learn through things through them and through that way. A um, um, couple of stories. <laughs> so what's been my biggest screw up? I should think for one sec. Got it. <laughs> so one of my biggest screw ups is funny in retrospect, as most of them are. When I was a sophomore in college, I took our programming class, which was Fortran 96. I was learning a, what, 14, 16 year old programming language while I was in school. Don't recommend. But anyway, I got, I got pretty into it. I actually really enjoyed solving the problems myself, um, which I didn't do in a lot of classes. So Anyway, I went in for the final exam and with coding, you can usually figure out if it's right or wrong. If the program works, you're right. If it doesn't work, it's wrong. So I went through the whole final, did everything well, figured it out and left and came home. And um, you're waiting on your final exam grades. Very important in college. Looked, I had gotten a zero and I was very concerned as I would pull my, it, it was, you could either get a hundred, a 75%, a 50, a 25 or a zero, I think maybe even a zero, 75 or 100, but it's very hard to like, not you're either right or you're wrong in programming. Right. So I emailed my teacher. I was like, I'm pretty sure I did this program, right? What the heck's the deal? And they said, you didn't turn in any, uh, program. So I looked back and I had, I had saved it to my computer without actually submitting it to the, wherever you submitted it. And I was not very happy. <laughs> um, so anyway, what I ended up doing is I did the, the snipping tool and it's a date modified in Windows Explorer. You're probably familiar. And it was modified during the exam time. And I said, look, I did it. Please help me. And they ended up giving me a 75 instead of a hundred, but better than a zero. Lesson learned. Now autosave is on all the time. And I still procrastinate and submit things late. So maybe I haven't learned anything. 
something I'm excited about. So I was, I've been thinking about this for a little while and I will share that it actually already passed, but I was very excited about it. I went to the Dreamville on the Rocks concert in Denver. It was a very fun trip. I am a huge fan of the rapper artist JID and he did very well. So if anyone here is a fan of rapper hip hop, uh, I am too. So do I have a mentor and what are they doing? So I actually have a couple mentors um, and they do a couple of different things. Uh, some, some people, I mean, my dad is one, so he's been very successful for a while. He's a very hard worker. Um, he'll probably watch this. Thanks dad. You're great. Um, a couple others have started their own podcasts and, or just, just kind of really found a topic that they care about a lot. So um, I, I care about, I, I'm trying to, get to that point where I am really caring about and kind of honing in on one topic that I like and um, doing uh, this podcast is, is part of that. Um, still kind of trying to find it. Work I really enjoy. I like the industry I'm in. Um, I like working with people. I like talking. So TBD, but short answer is focusing and working hard on one topic. Now, last one, is there anything you want to promote? Uh, shocker, I'm releasing this podcast and like and subscribe. It feels weird to say that. I don't feel like I'm a vlogger, but here we are. Uh, if you enjoy it, let me know. Honestly, if you're my friend, you're watching this, if you're anyone you're watching this, uh, shoot me an email, message me, and let's chat. I like talking to people, hearing about their background, and hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.